Hello, beautiful ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another exciting episode of Just Box. We bring you weekly updates and all the juicy trends from the world of entertainment. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do well to subscribe to this channel. Like, comment, share, and do well to follow us on all our social media platforms at New Gen Studios GH. I am your host, Abina Faith. Let's dive right into the world of entertainment. First of our story for today, we have the story of Stone Boy. Stoneboy receives, he wins an award at IROMA. Yes, IROMA is International Reggae and World Music Awards. He was awarded the Best African Dancer Entertainer. I want to say a big congratulations to Stoneboy. Congratulations to Stoneboy for this, for bagging another one. Yes, congratulations. Let's move on to our next story. We have a story of Mata Ankuma. And no versus Lewin, the Ghanaian Lewin, yes, the actor, the Kumaud actor, um, Lewin and Mata Ankuma, the brand ambassador, actress, yes. So there has been a back and forth between these two public figures. Um, Mata Ankuma is suing Lewin for defamation. So the story goes like this let me break it down to you. So Lewin called Mata to come on board for one of his projects. And Mata says, I don't see myself doing Kumahood movies. Mm -hmm. You get it? Right? I don't see myself doing Kumahood movies. Kumahood movies, in case you, you've not heard of Kumahood movies, is the local Ghanaian movies. So Mata says, she doesn't see herself doing this. And Lewin flares up and goes like, eh, even the big stars. It, mentions, it goes on to mention names. They are not acting all big and he doesn't see what GTP has been seen in Mata and all of that and all of that and all of that. So therefore, Mata is suing him. And now Lewin is saying, oh, it was just a joke. Why are you taking it personal? Like, girl, calm down. It was just a joke. But Mata is saying, this can't be a joke because you, you've, you've dragged her here and there and here and there. You can't tell me this is a joke. You are... She has built a reputation for herself, for her brand and all of that. And she believes that the rule of law works in Ghana. And she's going to put it, she, she wants to see the court, you know, put in some actions. And we're waiting to see what happens when, when there are more juicy updates. I'll bring it to you, my people, okay? <laughs> And see, I believe said the rule of law works in this country. Mijini say Emra Eye Juma Okrumpa. And see, Mijini say we better meet Didi Obiat Semkwa. Na wafa uhu. I think say see see a role model. So people must learn from us, and we must set good examples out there. Because we go for the brave action and action yeye. And see, Mijini say nyaku pona dom. Mijini say akoma abang. Mijini say akoko courts. And see, Mijini say ni akot no ebe ya fa hu. But ni ebe pia mu biyanso. Me magana fo. Aswati, me damasi. Me pao cho, de bia nyagro. Because it takes years to build a reputation and a brand. Into obi to mean dia gro. Obi a wun nim neda, a wun shia neda. A se bi se bi wane papa krada. Nansu hun oda, nansu wane papa da. On to me, en di watem, en kase o di agro. Into e nyagro. E ye bibi a obi enim se e nyagro. E na se bi se bi, sa adie no ye ye no. Se, emra a nye juma a. And yes, you are bonny. Ah, Sabi Sabi, in Crawford, who follow your befo say, will be able to make the deal be at him. I get away with it. I don't think, says I was saying, it's not on my musa. I was saying, set good examples because we have the young people coming after us, and they are the future leaders of this country. Bibia Bay Biano, or Mubesia, and you will be a young woman, your mapa, no Musina mapa, no Mufim Bugana, Nagana, and Yedding, or my papa, made us say for power to say, may power show assembly or courts. Into courts and the bedia seminal made us. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you've all seen the video. Yes, so that was Mata Ankuma herself. So, any other updates, I will bring it to you. Trust me, I'll bring you all the updates. Yes, so let's move on to our next story. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do well to subscribe and hit on the notification bell so that whenever we release amazing content, you will get notified. Okay. Yes, on to our next story. Ghanaian musician Kwame Eugene was involved in a fatal accident. So, 
The story goes like this. Kwame Eugene went to visit his mom and on his way back, he crashed his car into a truck. You understand? This was along the Achimota Way, N1 Road, going to Jowulu thereabout. This was where the accident happened. And, you know, we've been praying for him that he'll get better. I've, I've heard some small, small things in the background that is getting better. But we're still praying for him to get better and get back into the industry. Because we're waiting for him. Mm. All right. That's it. Let's move on to our next story. We have the story of Kwa Kwesi Atta. Sorry. Kwesi Atta. Yes. Um, in case you... Of course you know Kwesi Atta. Oi. <laughs> Yes, that is Kwesiata. So Kwesiata opens up about to the public that he hasn't quit music. All of you people that are saying, ah, where have Kwesiata passed? So where have Kwesiata passed? We've not been hearing from Kwesiata. <laughs> Kwesiata comes out to say he hasn't quit music, right? So he, he went through, you know, a few phases and all of that. And he was hoping that the people he called his own, his friends, his family, who would support him through that, those faces would, you know, be there for him. They would be the shoulders to lean on. And it turns out that these friends are the ones who are spreading the rumors that he has quit music. Brother Man is saying, if I've pushed this far, why would I stop now? Because, no, think of it. He has come this far. Well, except he wants to go into other things. But he's saying he has worked with the music. So he's back now. And you'll be hearing more from Oin. Because he had time. So, all right, ladies and gentlemen, let's go take a look at the video. We'll be right back. Yeah, I had to, I had to just, like, put on my big boy pants and, like, still keep it moving. You feel me? Just keep it moving. Keep recording. Keep working. You feel me? And, like, it wasn't, like, how it used to be because, like, I always had like we had a system of working, mm. you know, mm -hmm. around like with those people. Like there was a system of working together, and like when I like when you leave the system, like everything is brand new for you, right. you know. So yeah, but it's like a new fortunate, style. yeah, but like fortunately for me, like I still kept pushing, you know, like and the yard team be say as I go through the thing, like people will them for help you no it's like yeah then they bash you you know mm. and in this internet age like how me like being outside for a while like i do that all the time like mm -hmm. how is it all out in the media mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. that'd be some way so it's it's like people are intentionally like crippling you with uh, trying to do trying stuff to you know? crazy. yeah in so, crazy, real talk did you in, ever feel like giving up in the, in the oh hell no bro in the heat yeah. of that hell in the heat no of that, where you started from the, the 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 whole issue that the internet is going crazy yeah. you have to, but you still have to pull your oh, pants up and go bro. to the studio never did you ever look yourself in the mirror and say charlie why did you do all this never never all right so you've heard it yourself like i said maybe i always bring you authentic you understand yes onto our next story hmm? we have the story of bend you mm. <laughs> so we have the story of omale mm. Omale, we greet you, sir. <laughs> so this time, Omale, he, he, he doesn't want to cause trouble, but he, he's not escaping totally from trouble at his concert at Berlin. So he now go and take another girl. Eh? He went for another lady. But this time, this was how he went about it. He was polite. He said, do you have a boyfriend? Do you have a boyfriend? <laughs> Let's go take a look at the video. Be right back. No. I can bend you. Are you with your boyfriend? I don't want trouble. I can bend you. I can bend you. I can bend you. I can bend you. Maybe I should pick a boy this time. I should pick a boy. I should pick a boyfriend instead, yeah?
Vale, be doing the most. <laughs> Please, nowadays, if if you have a girlfriend, do not take her to Vale because because you don't know what. Peace. <laughs> Please, if you haven't subscribed yet. Please do well to subscribe. Do well to subscribe. Click on the notification bell as well. Because you want to get notified every time we release amazing content. Because more juicy content will be coming your way soon. Okay? And you don't want to miss any of that. And please do well to follow us on all our social media platforms. That's where we'll be giving you like insights, like small, small intertool before you see the main genocide. Yes, so please do well to follow us on all our social media platforms, IG and TikTok at New Gen Studios GH. Okay, I, you are done, right? Okay, okay. So now let's move to our last story for today. So our last story for today, I bring you the story of the all African games that just ended. Ta -da -da -da. So for the opening ceremony, Shatwali performed, and for the closing ceremony, Stoneboy performed. You know. So I think it was an SS something. Mm. <laughs> Please, I don't mean SS the blood group. I mean like Shatawali started S. Don't worry. Yes. But yeah, so I want to bring you the, you know, I can't break it down one after they, they did lots of games. It was it was amazing and all of that. Countries, African countries coming together, putting in work, their efforts and all of it was beautiful. But you know, in every team is a race, is a there will be a winner and so I want to, I'm, I'll give you the top six and, you know, I'll, I'll just tell you um, the number of gold medals that they won. The six countries, the top six countries. Okay. So don't forget this. Before we mention, the host country was our beloved Ghana. Okay. Mm -hmm. So for the first country, I should start from number six. No, let me start. From, <laughs> let's start from number one. So number one, we have Egypt. Round of applause for Egypt. Yes, Egypt came through with a hundred gold medals. Also, the second country to pull through is our very own, our beloved Nigeria. Yes, so Nigeria came through with 47 gold medals. Have you seen the difference? The second came through with 47. Third country to come through in the all African games. Is that country that that? Me eh A big shout out to South Africa for coming through in the third position with thirty two gold medals. Mm hmm. <laughs> Congratulations to South Africa as well. The fourth country to pull up in the it's Algeria with twenty nine gold medals. I just want to. Are you seeing the difference in the gap? Like, are you seeing how it's opening? Do you get it? All right. And the fifth country to come through is Tunisia. Tunisia came through with 21 gold medals. Oh my goodness. Round of applause. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. And finally, Ghana came through in, at the sixth position with 19 gold medals. Clap for Ghana, clap for Ghana. Because it's in our own month. Now they came to meet us in our own house. And yet we came through at the sixth position. Ah, uh, well, yeah, they are sitting down my We give all glory to God. Finally, the, the All African Games has come to an end. I want to say thank you to all countries who participated. We love you all, One Africa. And this brings us to the end of our show today. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Okay, and follow us on all our social media platforms at what? New Gen Studios GH. I am your host, Abina Faith. Follow me on Instagram at, and TikTok at Abina underscore Faith 5. All right, till we meet again. Ciao, ciao. Bye.